Hi, I'm Darren, service manager for the Adams Tractor Corporation. Today we're going to be going over uh, DPF regen uh, cycle on our Tier 4 Final construction equipment. Tier 4 Final machines have a DPF filter on them now, and every so often they will get a particular, or they'll get a certain amount of particulate built up in the filter, and we have to burn that off. The one thing to know right away for a Tier 4 Final machine in construction is it's better to run at full throttle or at least three quarters throttle when operating the machine. That helps to do what they call a pass passive regen and keeps the machine from regening too often. When we do get to the point where the machine regens, uh, we'll see a light on the dash to indicate that the machine is going to regen. And at that point, all you need to do is keep working. The other light you might see is if your RPM isn't high enough is an RPM light. It'll have an arrow and it'll, it'll be pointing up saying RPM. So what you need to do at that point is raise the throttle to a full throttle. And it's important to keep using the machine until the regen is done. That being said, there is a button over here on the, on the left-hand side of the machine. It's called the DPF uh, inhibit switch. That is just for canceling the regen and it only re it only cancels the regen for a certain amount of time and the only time you would do that is if for some reason you're either indoors or you're a potential fire hazard which on this machine is not as big of a deal because the exhaust in this machine points up it's out of the way it's not pointing out at the ground so you're not going to set any dry brush or anything on fire the more you cancel the regen if you if you do it successively uh or, or do it do it a lot in, in, in a short amount of time what can happen is worst case scenario is it could damage the dpf filter or it could force it into a condition to where we have to come out with our service truck and a laptop and plug in and do some diagnostics, reset the machine to get you going again. So it's just important to always let the regen cycle when it needs to cycle. If you have any more questions regarding regen cycles on your Kubota construction equipment, you can always call us at the shop, 208-765-2315, or you can visit us on our website at www.cdatractor.com.